Hello, Taurus. This is your reading. The energy starting now. What door is going to close for Taurus? And what doors will be opening for Taurus? Sun, moon, and rising in the next six months. That's being triggered by the eclipses that we've been having. For Taurus, sun, moon, and rising, like I said. Looking for new energies and hopefully positive energies. As you know, this may not resonate with all Taurus individuals. You know, I try to reach as many as possible. The main energy that is coming in for Taurus. Like I said, I always look for a positive reading, but we give an honest one too. We gotta tell you what the cards say so you could possibly change your path in some way if you don't like the path shown. Ah, eight of wands. Communications are coming in. Lots of communications. You'll be talking. Um, back and forth pretty quickly to somebody. For some of you, you may be traveling, okay? Yeah, you're going to make a decision. You're going to cut one thing out of your life, you know, or more or less stay where you're at, but I don't think so. You may be figure, trying to figure out what you're going to do passionately, something that you are really wanting to do, you should go for, okay? Maybe some of you will be traveling, What's crossing it? The Five of Swords, maybe. Where you're wanting to go in life, what you're wanting to do in life, will make other people upset around you, and it may cause arguments with the Five of Swords. And um, this also could be prompting you to put in pushing you to make your decision, you know, where you want to go in life. Three of Cups, what crowns you with a goal? You want to celebrate, you want to have fun, you want to enjoy people again. Um, some of you may want to go out, and, you know, to a tavern or something like that to celebrate with friends. That has a lot to do with that. Or going to weddings, all kind of things where there's celebrations and enjoyment, breaking bread. And that could be your goal. You're just wanting to enjoy your life. Foundation. Is the four of wands. It's about having a happy home. Maybe that's what you're wanting, a happy home, happy home celebrations. But something is causing arguments. In the past, some of you may have taken a break with the four of swords. Maybe somebody was ill. Maybe somebody just needed to get away from people. Um, we just went through all this where everybody was told to stay at home. That could have been it, too, with the four of swords. Taking a break from society and life in general. Wasn't fun for a lot of people. But um, I do see people going out. I'm, I don't think the situation we're going through is over just by the way the cards say. But not everybody is going to be severely affected like you think. It will take some time still because you're wanting to go out. You want to have fun. You want your family, your friends. You want to enjoy your home. Ace of Wands in reverse is in the near future. I know you think reversals are bad. It, they're not. It's just... You, in a new beginning, you may be more careful. You may not push forward as quickly. You may really think and consider what your next move will be when you do it. That's what that's all about. I know. You can look it up if you want. Possible future outcome advice from the universe is telling you to come out of heartbreak and sorrow with the Three of Swords. What is coming towards you? Someone's trying to come out of troubled waters towards you. Someone who's in conflict with themselves that you may know is coming towards you. Or it could be society in general is coming out of this. You know, they're coming out of troubled waters eventually, you know. Your hopes and fears, you're wanting to take a new beginning, a leap of faith. That's what the full card means. It means taking a leap of faith. Um, the only uh, fallback with the, the fool is that something, a mishap may happen when you take that leap of faith and maybe you're fearing that. But you're definitely wanting to take a leap of faith. In the end, the Page of Pentacles. Some of you may be down um, with another earth sign. It could be you, the Page of Pentacles. It could be that communications are a little off, or you're thinking things are too stagnant, or you're just waiting for things to turn around. It will turn around, but I see it taking time. I will be giving a love reading in just a minute. I want to clarify these because it's just a canvas. It can change up the story and also make it more interesting when I clarify. But I'll be giving you a pick a path, pick an energy, pick a pile, um, three pile, three energy card reading. And I will pick a life purpose card like I've been doing for everybody. But I do see like it, it's slowly coming, becoming a lot better for you. 
Um, but it's going to take time. You're going to be very careful. You want to take that leap of faith, but at the same time, you're definitely going to be watching out for things. But let's go back to the beginning because I want to see who's coming towards you with the Six of Swords. Who's coming out of troubled waters? Is it a person? Is it a is it society? Um, we got this Three of Swords here too. I want to know what that's about because the universe is saying for you to come out of you know sorrow and heartbreak. Uh, maybe it'll tell us what your heart is broken about. And I want to know why the Page of Pentacles is totally in reverse. Could be for any reason. Someone may not be feeling well. Someone may feel like things are moving too slow. Anything can make a court card go um, in reverse or a page, you know, or any card, you know. And it could be that just something's just not quite right right now or the right time or people are holding back or they're getting better. It's all kind of reasons depending on the next card. So let's go back to the beginning of this two of wands where you're thinking about making a decision. Whatever decision you're going to be making, it may cause an argument in some way. Maybe every time you want to do something or say something, someone bickers against you or goes up against you. So I need two cards, please, for Taurus. Thank goodness that air conditioner went off. It's a loud one. Yeah, you couldn't take a leap of faith as a current environment, but somebody wants to. If someone wants to take a stand and take up for themselves with the Seven of Wands. This could be you taking up for yourself. I see somebody arguing with you or going against what you're wanting to do in life in some way. And you may take a stand. You're going to say, this is what I want to do with my life. You know, and they may say, um, you got to be careful with the fool in reverse. You know, don't just jump out there and do this. So that's what you're going to go up against in the next six months. Your goal is to have that, like I said, three of cups, you know, celebrate, have fun with people, family, friends. It don't matter. It's a joyous occasions. So three of cups. I need two cards, please, for Taurus. Two cards, please. Yeah, you may be taking on more than one thing. You want to keep busy again, and you want to come out of taking a break with the Four of Swords in reverse. You're tired of laying back, laying low, and you want to get busy again with the Two of Pentacles. You've got a lot of things you're wanting to do. Foundation, happy home, trying to have a happy home, trying to um, celebrate at home. Maybe you want your friends and family to come back in your home. Um, all kinds of things. But the Four of Wands, I need two cards, please, for Taurus. As the foundation. Hmm. Yeah, something's not quite right in the home. You're trying to make it better with um, uh, the endings and rebirth card, as they call it, um, in many of the decks. You're trying to resurrect a happy home. You're trying to make it, you know, celebrations to be happy again. Maybe some of you, for a few of you few of you, you may be thinking about marriage and things of that nature, you know, uh, where you want to buy a home maybe because um, home sales are not very good right now with a lot of people, so that could be it too, or trying to sell your home, it's all kind of things, but you're trying to make your home a lot happier is what it's all about. In the uh, past, we got the Four of Swords, you know, everybody took a break, but maybe you took a break for different reasons. So the Four of Swords, I need two cards please in the past position. For Taurus, two cards, please. And there's that communication. So it's the incoming energy where they do open up or travels. But in the past, you weren't unable to do so. Someone had to take a break. It was halted. But there's still blessings and growth there. And also it could be for a very few of you because, of course, this can't be for everybody. The Empresses can be about fertility and pregnancies. So maybe that's why you had to take a break or maybe you had to hold it off. But I do see where communications are a bit off, and it had to do with, you know, getting your getting growth in life. So in the very near future, you get the Ace of Wands. It's in reverse, so something's a little up with it. Usually when I see this, I, I like to see it in the upright because it's going to have a new passion beginning right away. But it could be all kind of reasons. It could be just stagnant or something a little off with it. So the Ace of Wands, I did say the Ace of Wands, not the Swords. Ace of Wands in reverse. I need two cards, please. For Taurus in the very near future. Powerful energy. Hmm. You could be dealing, for some of you, with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone no longer wants to hold back, but I see another person holding back just a little. Page of Wands could also be passionate messages, but I see it possibly as a person, a younger person, or someone 
who wants to have fun in life. But it's taking time. Someone is having, someone's being very impatient when I see these three together. And it could be now that I see the page of wands with the ace of wands in reverse and the four of pentacles in reverse is that someone's getting impatient. They want everything right now. You know, they want it everything now. They don't want to have to wait on it. Now, the universe is saying three of swords in reverse. Be careful, heartbreak, or don't let anything break your heart. Don't let anything cause sorrow in your life. Um, or put away sorrow. That could be it, too. So the three of swords in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Taurus. As a possible future outcome and advice from the universe. High Priestess, listen to your intuition. It could cause arguments. So listen to your intuition. If someone's trying to pick an argument with you, pick a fight, um, don't let... Don't let arguments cause you sorrow. Realize when you, when your intuition kicks in that someone's just trying to get under your skin, that they really are. Put it far from you because it just causes heartbreak. Um, the universe is saying just put it from you, the arguments, because it's not worth breaking your heart over. So it's, the whole thing is to keep calm. But I think you're wanting what you're wanting. You, you know, I see you um, as a second of hand as someone taken up from themselves. But it's, as the outside environment coming towards you is a six of swords, Somebody or a, a situation wants to come out of the troubled waters. They, they're slowly coming out of these troubled waters, and they're, it's heading towards you. So the Six of Swords, I need two cards, please, for Taurus. Got to do with the Queen of Swords wants to come out of troubled situation. Um, manipulations of some sort is attached with the Queen of Swords, whether they're doing this or maybe if for a few of you, maybe you did something to them and got excuse me, got them turned around. But I see that, you know, coming towards tours as they're wanting to come out of troubled waters because it's what's coming towards you, the outside environment. Then it could be that this person is just, you know, going through the ringer themselves. And that could, like I said, can turn any card around. Or they could be at the, very, very much so in a manipulative situation, you know, coming towards you. But I see them wanting to come out of a manipulative situation or wanting to come out of the troubles that were caused. Now, your hopes and fears, you're wanting to start a new beginning, you're taking a leap of faith, you, you're, you you know, you're busting at the seams, you just want to go out and have fun, you know, I mean, you, you just want to, you know, enjoy life again, you know, you want to take off, you know, at a very fast pace, so the full, in the upright, any two cards, please, for Taurus. The tower. You want to avoid tower situations. You don't want your world coming come crumbling down. And that could be your energy. Or t you're wanting to be stable. And you're wanting um, long-term stability to come in. You want to go towards that. And you're definitely going to be avoiding towers. You definitely want to take a leap of faith. But at the same time, I still see you in a way being a little careful. You're talking to yourself and saying, now, yeah, I want to do this. I want to do this. But I got to... Um, Look at the pros and cons before I step into it. So in the very end there, <clears throat> got the Page of Pentacles. And this could be your energy, even though it's in reverse. It's something like, I think things are just moving too slow for you, but it is coming to an end, um, the things that were being stagnant, but it's going to be slowly coming out of it. I do see someone coming towards you when it come out of troubled waters, and maybe that's got you a little concerned for some of you. And because I see that three of swords too, where you don't want to have heartbreak and you don't want arguments, but the universe is telling you to look, you know, tap into your intuition. You're right. So don't think someone's going to come towards you because I do see that magician in reverse where they may try to trick you. They call it the trickster card in reverse that maybe everything's in your head. And maybe you may think that a little, but the universe is saying you are right. Okay. So the Page of Pentacles in reverse. I need two cards as the final outcome for Taurus. Two cards, please. If someone, someone wants to come out of uh, abandonment, someone wants to come out of feeling that like they don't have enough, this could be you. You know, you're feeling like you don't have enough. You're not happy with the situation. And also, I do think a lot of you are concerned with whatever's coming towards your way. You're afraid of heartbreak. But the key is you're going to shut doors to, let's see what you're going to shut the door on. You're going to make a final decision towards something. 
even though it causes arguments. You're going to go towards something that's going to make you very, very busy, but you're going to be very careful. You do want to take a leap of faith. But at the same time, you're telling yourself you need to be careful. Someone is coming towards you saying, hey, hey, I want to come out of troubled waters. Let's do this. Let's do that. And they may try to push an issue on you and make you feel like, you know, you're the one not cooperating. It may cause arguments. But listen to your intuition. You are right. And don't let anything get under your skin because that's what's the, that is the warning. Um, don't let anything break your heart because things will ease up. You know, this universe will happen, but you need to close the door on the situations that aren't allowing you to move, you know, go forward in life. Once you close that door, life will move forward. Once you close the door to arguments and people may try to manipulate you or talk you out of things you're wanting to do in some way, um, then things will improve. I do see you come out of sleepless nights or wanting to come out of sleepless nights, trying to with the nine of swords. Um, you don't like people keeping you, you know, worrying you where you're kept up at night. Now I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to give you a love reading, right? Because everybody wants something to do with love. This got to do with money. It could be career. It could be anything. It could be relationships, love. But I do see you making a decision to go forward in something and possibly shut a door on um, something else that is not, not your passion. And you may have to stand up for yourself and you're going to shut that door. Even though people may try to persuade you not to, I do believe you will. Take a little bit longer. It'll be past July. Um, as you're doing this, you're going to feel the sludge, but it's going to happen. You are careful and you are intelligent. Um, the universe says you are spot on your intuition. So listen to yourself. Don't think that you were wrong. Okay. Now, like I said, I'll give you love reading, and I'll pull a life purpose card also. Some people want to hear about love, but this could be just about, this is the main energy, what is going on now. Make the decision you want to, to go passionately forward and wherever you want to go in life. It may cause arguments, but that's okay. You got this, okay? I'll be right back. Let me clean this up. Hello, Taurus. This is your love reading. Just pick a path, pick a energy, pick a pile. Three, three piles for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the energy starting now for the next six months concerning love for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Like I said, new energies, positive energies for Taurus. If you don't like seeing me shuffle, please fast forward. It won't hurt my feelings, I promise. I do it all the time myself when I watch a video. They go on too long. But this is three cards from the Angel Love cards. And then I'm going to give, turn these around, this one's up. Um, the angel answers for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. More angel cards to give us more advice for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. For the Pick a Path, Pick an Energy card, Pick a Pile for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Concerning love, the energy is starting now for the next six months when it comes to love for Taurus. This is almost just in time for a lunar eclipse, isn't it? I don't know. I don't have my other computer with me to where I can look them up for you. But I need three cars from the 8th house to row, the house of secrets, the house, the house of sexuality for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. New energies, positive energies for Taurus. Sorry, I took so long getting this reading out, but it just kept them getting messed up. Everything kept them getting messed up, and I'd rather have a it done right, you know. Three cards from like purpose. Um, sometimes they're vague, and sometimes they're really, you know, really good. They really tell you something. And I'm getting a lot of light worker type energy. A lot of people are light workers, or should be light workers. But this is for towards something rising. Your light purpose for the next six months. We have many life purposes, but I need to know what's for the next six months. What are you, what are you doing? And you pick an energy, what you feel compelled, but I bring them all together anyway, usually. I can't help it. It's the way I read. And they are, I call them secondary energies. Some of you may need to trust people. Maybe you need to trust somebody. Maybe you're having trust issues. But if you believe, it could work out in a love-type relationship, if you believe, okay? You can get wish fulfillment with the Nine of Water. That's the Nine of Cups. And maybe your life purpose is to create music, listen to music, or do something with music in general. The next six months, maybe it's just meditation music you should get into. But this is the next six months, which will help you gain strength when it comes to love and even in life, okay? So trust that if you believe and you trust 
you'll get your wish fulfillment when it comes to love. Okay? Remember, I'm going to bring all these together anyway. We're going to see what the others say. Ooh, I get this card a lot. Someone has passion for you. Maybe you have passion for them. But you're not sure. Even though the angel or the card reading before said to listen to your intuition, you're not sure. So if you're not sure, ask your angels. Okay? Ask your angels. Usually, um, I say this all the time. If you ask your angels at night or you meditate on with your question at night, oftentimes it will be revealed to you the next morning in one way or another. It will just be a feeling. You'll maybe see a sign. But ask your angels and be sincere and you will get your answer. you got the three of pentacles here. Collaborate and work on the situation. Don't fight it too much. And for some of you, life purpose for the next six months is you'll be working with animals. Maybe you'll be helping them. Maybe you'll be... Do, um, donating your time, you know. But animals is, uh, you know, will help you heal and will help um, life in general heal around you, too. You understand animals. There's people that could really like them if they wanted to. But trust your inner guidance as animals are a part of your life's work, at least for the next six months, not longer, you know. Maybe you'll uh, run into your little soulmate animal, you know, when it belongs to you. Whoa. Some of you are going to make a serious commitment, maybe even get married in the future. Um, maybe someone will ask you to get married. Maybe someone will try to make you make a commitment. But you may say no. You may say yes. The same reconsider. If you want to say no, the same reconsider. If you want to say yes, you may want to reconsider. It really depends on what's going on with the Taurus I'm talking you know, to. Some of you may have someone want to make a commitment, and you're like, oh, I don't know about that, you know. But it says reconsider, let's weigh out all the options. You got the ten of fire. I'm thinking for some of you, it may be a little bit of burden. It'd be a lot of work if you take on this commitment, but it's up to you. But I got the trust card again. So maybe it is for you to reconsider if you may turn someone down. You may think it's a lot of work, and marriage and, and relationships are. Serious ones are. I'm not gonna lie to you. People think they're like the movies and you know, and everything is always perfect. But that's not true. You know, you go through the motions, you go through ups and downs, and sometimes you may not be able to stand the person you're with. But trust that it may work out, because you may feel that this person is going to want a commitment with you. For a lot of you, I'm thinking the universe may say reconsider the situation, but I'm thinking you, you're going to think it's a burden and may say no. But it says trust in your, I'm saying trust your own, um, decision which way you go. Someone is going to want a commitment. Some of you may accept it and, and want to take on this energy. And others may say no. But trust you yourself in which way you want to go. Because I did see that two, two of wands where you can make up um, a decision where you want to go that's pretty powerful. You know, a passionate forward. You know, passion, passionately going forward. So you're putting all that together. you got to trust yourself twice. Trust in your own self. Maybe some of you are having doubts. Maybe someone's going to make you feel like you have doubts in the next six months. But if you believe you can get through this, okay, you you're, trust yourself. Like I said, you got a wish coming in. And if you're, like, real concerned and maybe some of you are having troubles, just, you know, relaxing, listen to, you know, music. Some of you may create music. Some of you may, like I said, listen to uh, um, meditational-type music or even create it yourselves. Passion is coming in. Someone's very passionate for you. But you're unsure. You're unsure. It says ask your angels about it. It says to collaborate with something. Someone wants to collaborate with you. And also your life purpose. Maybe you're dealing with pets and animals or, you know, like donating your time somewhere, volunteering. Someone's going to want a commitment. But I feel like some of you are going to be unsure because maybe they did something. Maybe you, they're not exactly what you're wanting. Maybe you just don't know if it's the right thing right now with the way the world is. All kind of reasons you may think it's a burden. You know, the universe says to reconsider. You know, it could be like it's different for everybody. Reconsider to get rid of the, you know, the person if you want to take them or, you know, vice versa. But trust in yourself most of all. Trust is a big situation now that when your intuition kicks in, please listen. That is the whole key. So you are going to close the door to negativity and things that aren't moving passionately forward. You may put an end to that. You may, it may even start an argument with somebody, but it looks like you're going forward steady as it goes for the next six months. Passion is coming in. Wish fulfillment is coming in. If you get a little antsy over it, listen to music. Take up, a, you know, 
get a pet or uh, stay closer to your pets. Like I said, volunteer. But most of all, trust yourself in which way you want to go. Do you want to commit or do you want to go another direction? It's really up to you. you got a choice here. Okay? I'm going to let this go. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.